Hey, what's up, you guys? Big Time Collector 01 here, back at it again with another action figure review. And today, we'll be taking a look at the DC Multiverse Batman and Robin movie Mr. Freeze Build a Figure Waves Batgirl. I'm very excited to open this figure up. I'm just really excited for this whole wave. I never thought we'd see a Batman and Robin movie wave at all from this line. You know, one of the best Batman movies, am I right? I'm definitely joking, but I won't lie when I say this. I I have a soft spot for this movie. I really do. I remember watching it as a kid. I never I didn't grow up when this movie came out, but I have it on DVD. And when I was a kid, I replayed the hell out of this movie. And, you know, I was just like, I don't know, six when I saw this movie for the first time. So I freaking loved it. But that's a discussion for another time. As you can see, we get the big, wide Build-A-Figure box. Batgirl's number one for the collected build Mr. Freeze build figure. Here's the barcode on the bottom. These are hitting GameStops and Targets as I know of. I got the bundle for Christmas, I'm pretty sure. Um, my dad got this from the McFarland Toy Store because it was the whole wave. We got Batgirl on the side and I really like how it's red instead of, you know, the basic black box. That's really cool. I really like the red, you know, accents to him. It looks really cool. You get the Batman and Robin logo on the side here and on the top. Looking really cool. I've always liked that logo, the mix between the Batman and Robin logo. I really like that. You get, you know, the DC Infinite QR code at the side. And then you get, you know, the diagram here. And then Arnold Schwarzenegger's Mr. Freeze right there. Other figures from the wave. And so, yeah, that's really it. Let's get to it and crack Batgirl open. Batgirl comes with the gun, the shoulder pads, and the head to the Mr. Freeze Build-A-Figure. Before we take a look at the figure, let's take a closer look at her accessories. She first comes with a basic DC Multiverse stand. Then a trading card. Like the image on the front, they used all the all the images are from the uh, the movie poster, which is really cool. Here's a bio on the back. Totally forgot her name was Barbara Wilson. She wasn't a Gordon in this movie, which I thought was interesting. And then here's Batgirl out of the packaging. She doesn't come with any of the accessories of her own. It would have been nice if she came with some interchangeable hands, but it's all good. Starting off with the top of her head. She looks really good. I really do think the likeness to the actress looks nice. I forgot her name. Is it Alicia Silverstone? I, I can't remember who, who played her for the life of me. I can't remember. But it looks good. I really like the paint in the hair. It looks nice. It's only on the front here. You don't get it on the back. It's just the straight up blonde. But the domino mask looks really nice. You say it looks really, you know, really cool. I like how they painted the eyes. The lips came out nice. Looking at the rest of her, you know, body, it's all black. It's all casted in black. It's, you know, shiny black. But that's very accurate to the movie. As you can see the bat logo on her chest there. Looks cool. Again, you can barely see it. I never really liked the suit designs in the Batman and Robin movie. Except for those silver suits. I, I really hope we get those silver ice suits in figure form. Like, I'm really hoping for those. Those are... Don't blame, you can't blame me. I love the weird Batman suits and the silver ice suits were always one of my favorites. So I hope we get those in figure form at one, t at one point in time because that'd be awesome. But yeah, having this, you know, suit looks really cool. You know, you get all the details here, sculpted details. You get like the the boots up here looking nice. You get like that. It's, it's not the bat symbol. It's just, it's missing the ears, but you, you know. You get more of that on the bicep here. These, the shoulders or the forearm spikes are really sharp. They're pointy. They are a harder, bit of a harder plastic. They're not as soft, but they are really pointy. So be careful with those. She does, you know, have fisted hands on her, you know, preloaded on the figure. Again, just looks really nice. I really do like all the detailing on this figure. It's really cool. Again, very movie accurate, you know, but the whole design is very bland in color. But that's just very movie accurate. All the suits were kind of like that, you know, just one color. And then looking at the cape, looks nice, very, you know, small. It's an, it's a kind of a, it's a soft material. It's not very flexible. It's kind of stiff at the same time, somewhere in between. But I really do like how the cape looks. Looks like, like that leather from the movie. 
again, just really accurate to the source material. Really do like how this figure came out. Now let's take a closer look at Batgirl's articulation. Starting off with her head, she can look down that much. She can't really look up due to the hair. She does get rotation. Again, you're not going to get much movement because of the hair. And she gets a little bit of tilt. Shoulders move up that much. They move down. They do rotate 360, but the hair will kind of get in the way. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. And the wrists do hinge and rotate. Torso moves down that much. You can go back that much, which is really good. You can also get some tilt and rotation. The legs can split that wide, which is pretty good. She can kick forward that much and back some double jointed knees and McFarlane ankle joints that move down, up, rotate, and pivot, which is, I don't know, the pivots on like a ratchet, I don't know, it's kind of weird. It does not, barely wants to pivot. There we go. See, it's on, a, see, it, it's got like a click pivot for some reason. And then she's got tour articulation. Measuring back girl out, she comes to around six and three quarters inches tall, almost seven inches. And then here she is next to a comic book version of Batgirl. We have the three Jokers version. As you can see, it's the movie design is drastically different from the comic book version. Like the, the domino mask, and there's no ears. It's all one color. Very different from what we're usually, you know, seeing. But that's kind of cool, in my opinion. I kind of like the difference. And here's Batgirl up on the rotating base. And I have to say this figure is pretty cool. I did end up liking it a little more than I thought I would. I thought she'd be like one of my least favorite figures from the wave, but no, she is pretty cool. I do like her. She has really good articulation and, and you know, really good sculpting on her. There's no paint apps on her uh, other than the head, which is very accurate to the movie, you know. All the costumes didn't really have color to them. They're all black. The only one to really have color was Robin with the red, but it's still mainly black. But yeah, that's just the movie design, not the figure. But still really cool. I, you know, I do like this figure a lot more than I really uh, initially thought I would. It's still really fun to pose around and just overall looks cool. I do like it. Um, you know, there's not really much to say about this figure, but it's still cool. It would have been nice if she came with a lot more accessories. You know, she didn't come with a single accessory for herself. She came with mostly Build-A-Figure pieces. Um, but you could say that with the whole wave, the whole wave is very lacking with accessories, just with, you know, with only a few figures coming with them. But I'm very excited to build out, you know, the Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Freeze, and it's going to be really cool because this is a really cool wave. I never thought we'd get a Batman and Robin themed wave from McFarlane Toys. So yeah, that's really it. That's all I really wanted to touch base on. And yeah, this figure's pretty cool. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.